Hi, my name is Marissa and I'm going to be talking about three things from our communication assignment. Just wanted to give an FYI if you hear any weird noises. I have two cats and a dog and they're all being obnoxious, so I apologize in advance. Um, so the first one I'm going to talk about is something I wish my family or friends better understood about me. For me, the biggest issue I have with my family is our own personal beliefs. I grew up in a very religious household, a very homophobic, religious, politically aligned family, and I wish my family better understood that I am now 26 years old and able to hold my own personal beliefs. My family kind of treats me like the black, or as I call myself, the rainbow sheep of the family because my religious political, and basically all of my beliefs don't align with theirs. And I wish that they understood that it's okay to have different beliefs and it's okay not to agree with things other people agree with. And, you know, you don't have to treat them differently. You don't have to treat them like a 12-year-old who you want to basically brainwash into holding the same beliefs because it's not how America works. It's not how any of the world works. Um... So, although it's hard and it keeps me from going to family functions, you know, I've realized in my area and my life that uh, I have a lot of family that isn't blood and that's perfectly okay with me. Um, um, a communication problem I've had that was caused because of social media or technology I'm just going to say it. I hate technology. I really do. I'm good at using technology, but I really hate it. I feel like I wish texting was invented before being able to call somebody because I would much rather have people call me and talk to me about an issue than text me or message me on Facebook. You know, you really can't understand a person's tone. Um, you can't hear their tone. You can't really fully understand the context of a conversation if you don't see a person's facial expressions, you don't hear their tone, you don't see their body language. Like, it's caused some issues, especially me and my girlfriend. Like, we had work completely opposite shifts, so calling's not always an option for us. So, we generally text, and sometimes those texts get mis misconstrued. And it can cause problems, but, I mean, generally they're small problems. Like, extra punctuation can be interpreted as being mad, but it's really not. So, I just really wish that um, people called more or just hung out more. Although, you know, we have this COVID crisis, so that's really not an option right now either. So, and I work in healthcare, so that was, like, not a joke with COVID. Wash your hands, people. Um, so let's see here. A current problem or challenge that I'm passionate about and would like to see changed. Uh, I'm a huge advocate for human rights. Uh, maybe it's, you know, my history with some issues in my family, or it might be just figuring out what my own personal beliefs are. I'm not really sure why, but I am like over the top human rights. Um, you know, everybody deserves to be treated equally. And I like that our world is ever changing. It Sometimes it seems like it's for the good and sometimes it doesn't. But I do like that more and more people are coming forward with issues in their household, such as poverty and abuse. Sorry, my cat's being annoying. Um, and I really wish that people would understand that men have feelings too. I don't care who you are, what your social status is, what your financial status is. Men have feelings too. Men also can be abused and deserve the right to come forward about that. 
children have a really hard time coming forward about abuse. Generally, it's because of fear. Um, a lot of kids are threatened if they tell anybody that, you know, they're going to get in trouble or they're not going to be able to see their mom and dad again or whatever the situation is. I just really want to gain better communication skills because I am planning on being a social worker, but also getting my cert my license as a therapist so that I can counsel children and help them navigate through those crucial stages in their life, um, those very defining stages if a kid was abused in any way or just poor, really, and not letting them be a product of their environment. So I hope that I learn to have better communication skills in that aspect of being able to talk to people publicly and not get anxiety with it because although I can talk a lot and I can strike up a conversation with anybody, I have a really hard time holding my breath when I speak and I really want to get rid of that. But be a good person, wash your hands, stay safe, and thanks for watching.